I think uh, in the first place, uh, <coughs> we, as Zambia, we knew that uh, it was going to be a very, very tough game because uh, Zimbabwe have got their strongest team and preparing for the AFCON. So we knew that uh, they, would, uh, they are going to push us very hard. That's why we, have to make, we had to make sure, to make sure that uh, we don't open up spaces. Uh, and that's what we did. We made sure that we close, especially in front of the central defenders, we put two defensive midfielders. I think that is what helped us so much. First and foremost, uh, what I have to say is um, we respect <coughs> this tournament, Kusafa, and um, one thing that we, we did was to bring almost our full squad to, to come to this tournament. And secondly, it was part of our preparations for the AFCON. So it was a two-way thing that we had to come here to defend our, our title and again for part of our preparations. And we had to rotate our players because we brought in about 32 players. And going to the game today, as you saw, we had to try in some new, new combinations, new players who didn't play in the, in the quarterfinals. And uh, I think our game plan was just to get a good combination and maybe get a positive result. But unfortunately, it, was, it didn't come to that. And uh, congratulations to, to Zambia. Thank you. <clears throat> well, let me start with the, with the first question to, about the, the, the respect. You have to <clears throat> understand the situation that most of our players who played in this Kosafa, they got good contracts after playing the Kosafa League. And uh, I think that's why we keep on you know, respecting this, this, this competition. It has brought a bit of um, you know, stability to our national teams. And I think we'll keep on honoring that. Secondly, um, in part of our preparations, I think we've seen what our players are capable of doing and uh, which players can we, we are going to take because we're going to trim our team down to 23. So I think this tournament really was an eye-opener for us to see some of the players who hadn't participated before. I think uh, I'm very happy. Uh, firstly, uh, the team has done what we wanted uh, to get victory. Uh, and then uh, secondly, uh, being my birthday today, this is the best present that they can give me. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me put it this way. Um, We've got the, the first batch of players leaving tomorrow, <laughs> unfortunately. So, but we're going to divide our, our squad into two. We're going to remain with 15 players who are going to play in the, in the last game, and the other players are leaving tomorrow. The players who didn't play today, they are going to play uh, the last game. So that thing is decided. No, that one we have to decide after. <laughs> yeah, right now. <clears throat> uh, to be quite frank, I think uh, we've kept almost the same squad from the beginning of the qualifiers. So we just added maybe a couple of players into this this this, this team that has been playing from the quali from the first day of the qualifiers against Liberia. And uh, what we'll only do is just to <clears throat> maybe add one or two to the, to the squad that was there. And we are, we are happy with, with what we've got. Yeah, because now we, the next game that we're going to play, our, in our friendly game, we're going to play Nigeria. That is uh, next week on the 8th. And uh, now I want to test our strength against the, the big boys. And then we'll see what happens after that. No, I think... Uh... <coughs> The, the, the AFCON is a different uh, uh, situation compared to the COSAFA. The COSAFA is a good tournament uh, for development of our players. But again, uh, sometimes I think he understands. Coach, uh, players sometimes have got an attitude. Maybe they will look at this as something very small because they've qualified for the AFCON. But I'm sure that <coughs> when they go to the AFCON, you'll see a difference in Babu. Because uh, we also want to wish them well because they are representing us.
Well, we, we, we spoke to him today uh, after the funeral, after he had gone to the, to the funeral. Well, uh, he's, he's, he's okay. I think he, he, he took it like a man. And uh, looking at um, the, the, the old man who passed away, he's been, they were in, in fact, they were not grieving. They were just celebrating his life because he was 98. And, uh, you know, to get to that age, you know, must be one of the chosen few. And uh, I think they were celebrated his, his life. I I think on the coach, I, it's not me to decide. Yeah, I think uh, that is uh, that's the job of the association. Uh, coming to what you've said about the other team, I think the future of Zambian football is very very bright because uh, we already have a team, uh, and that team is comprises of most of the under twenty players that played uh, two years ago. So meaning that uh, the next four or five years, we will still have a very strong team. Uh, what we are trying to do is that uh, because where we are lacking so much is in defense. But if you look at the crop of defenders that we brought here, they've showed uh, a lot of maturity and a lot of uh, uh, good things, which uh, we only need a, a little time to work on them so that they can be able to compete at that level. Uh, the only thing is that uh, every game is different. And again, uh, there's a saying in our language which is, we, we say, a small snake does not lie in a path. If it lies, then it can, speak, it can bite. So we are not going to look at Botswana as if Botswana are underdogs, no. They've got a very good team. I saw them play and they're playing very well. So we are just going to be serious with them. The same one that we have planned, we planned for, uh, for Zimbabwe. That's the same we're going to plan, even against uh, Boswell. Uh, it's painful. Uh, people are so disappointed. <coughs> but uh, you have to understand that uh, football sometimes, you pass through this situation so that you can learn for the future. So we've learned our lessons.